News 46, local coverage you can count on. come true it can happen to you if you're young at heart the next hour brings entertainment and information for those of you who are young at heart here are your hosts Lynn Peterson and Al Jones if you're young at heart good hello Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Perump. <laughs> Good morning, Perump, and hello. <laughs> Welcome to Young at Heart because we're both young. At heart. That's right. I am <laughs> Big Al Jones, and this is Carol Reverend Fusel. Carol Parcillo. Did Fusel. I say it right? How many years have you known me What's, and you never get it right? Say it again. It's few. Few. Silo. Few. I said it, didn't I? No. no, no few Silo. It's okay. okay. Well, we got it right there. It's okay. So Hello, everyone, and how are you this morning and young at heart and so forth? Are we all doing fine? And what's going on? Um, well, you know, we have Valentine's coming up That's pretty soon. That's right. And if you see our background, it's just so lovely. It's it floral, is. and we're so colorful today. We are. Look, red. Yep. You have red? No, it's actually it's orange, but it looks okay <laughs> in the television. <laughs> so it's is it a hot, it's a hot pink. Hot pink. I'm a hot pink. Well, that goes with uh, Valentine's Day. That's right. It does, yeah. So uh, what's going on? How was the weekend and all that kind of good thing? And uh, a lot of stuff was going on. There was the, the football, football game. And, How did you uh, like the results of that? I loved it. I wanted the Giants to win. And one of the reasons I wanted the Giants to win was because, uh, you know, the Patriots have been winning all the time. And so I think everyone was pulling for the Giants. And I watched well, didn't the them. Giants win the last time? No. No. No, it was the Patriots that won the last yeah, time. Yes. So okay, they, so they, what's fair is fair. Yeah, okay. so they deserved it. They deserved it. But you know what annoys me about these games? I what's have that? to be honest. Yes, I yes. cannot see paying $17,000 for a ticket to go and see a, what? a game. $17,000. They declared that on television days ago that they had some seats left and they were uh, charging $17,000. Oh, no. That's scalping. called scalping. Yes, oh no. Well, you know what? They have a lot of nerve, don't they? They do have a lot of nerve doing that. We Ooh. have a lot of very poor, hungry families in this That's country. True. And I think as uh, human beings, we should be out there and giving to uh, to others and not so much to so these much celebrities sense. that make millions of dollars anyways. Well, we are responsible, believe it or not, or we are the cause of these celebrities making this money because right. we support them. Absolutely. And I agree with you. They should give back more. Absolutely. But there are some of them are giving back. A lot of them are giving back, found out. Uh, I was watching uh, on TV, uh, Brian, uh, was it Pitt? Well, Tiger Woods is. And Tiger Woods and, yeah, and Pitt and, and the stuff they do. Yeah. He was... Uh, he was uh, uh, down in uh, uh, was it New Orleans, building, helping to build houses to make sure that they were going to be built correctly. Yeah, but you know what? I'll tell you what I have a problem with. Mm -hmm. If half the money they made went to scientists that could promote a cure for cancer and for other diseases, then hallelujah. But these people who barely graduate college because of what they do. Right. It's making millions and millions of dollars. And these people that are scientists that have so much knowledge don't make Yeah, diddly. they don't make that, yeah. They don't make I think that I think that should happen. That annoys me. On the bright side, you have a nice little... Um, <laughs> oh, about this gorgeous young redhead? Yes. Oh, well, okay. Well, this gorgeous red, uh, young redhead goes into the doctor's office and said that her body hurt wherever she touched it. Impossible, said the doctor. Show me. The redhead took her finger, pushed it on her left shoulder, and went, ah! Then she pushed her elbow and screamed even more. Oh! She pushed her knee and screamed, oh! Likewise, she pushed her ankle and screamed. Everywhere she shouted made her scream. The doctor said, you're not really a redhead, are you? <laughs> well, no, she said. I'm actually a blonde. <laughs> I thought so, the doctor said. Your finger is broken. <laughs> Cute. 
Now, you know that's pretty good. What's on the show today? Well, we have uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Tom Waters is on today. Mm -hmm. And we have the lovely Miss Joan from Albertsons, who's going to bring Valentine's things to us and show us different things like that. Jay Joseph, and he's going to be mm. singing, talking about mystery theater. Mm. Ooh. I heard his voice is fantastic. Yeah. And uh, we have, uh, was it uh, Lil Clarkson? Did I say that correct? Yeah. And uh, he's going to talk about uh, the new uh, hospice mm. that's here in Puram. So these are the things that's going to go on today. And uh, we hope that you enjoy everything that we have for you. So stay tuned, folks. You're watching Young at Heart. Be right back. After these messages. Welcome back to the show, folks. My first guest is, uh, actually, I should say Colonel. That's the first thing. Then Dr. Tom Waters. He's a combat wounded from, uh, you know, from the Air Force. He was an Air Force, of course, me, Marine, but he was Air Force. And I think that that is so beautiful. And I want to welcome you to Young at Heart. And I guess the first thing I want to know, what is that blue thing you're wearing on your wrist there? Well, I want to say, first of all, I'm very glad to be here on mm -hmm. your show. And uh, this blue thing I'm wearing is to talk about prostate cancer. Oh, did, hold it up so you can so they can see it. There it's, you go. It's a blue wristband, okay. and it talks about us two international. Mm -hmm. And we talk about it every every town board meeting, mm -hmm. and we invite people out to the meetings. Mm -hmm. uh, the meeting we meet once a month, last Thursday of each month at six o'clock at the hospital okay. in the training room. Oh, and we talk about prostate cancer. You know, earlier in your show you were mentioning cancer, and this is prostate cancer, and something that every man should at least be aware of. Hmm. And not only the men, but the women. Mm -hmm. If they want to take care of their men, they need to know about prostate cancer. So we invite everybody to come out to the meetings mm -hmm. and learn more about this disease. Wow, that's very good. I think that's very good. So we want the men to make sure that they understand something about this is what happened to most men, especially, I guess when we pass 50, it begins to start. I'm gonna say after 30. After 30 it, it, it starts? Need, they need to start Ooh. checking. Because uh, the PSA is so important. That's a yeah. that's a blood test you take and find out if you're. You need to understand what your baseline is. Right. And then if that baseline starts to change, mm -hmm. something in your body is changing. Right. And you need to know where you are on that. Now I'm a prostate cancer survivor, mm -hmm. so that's something very near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel good. I, I I don't have prostate cancer, but I know my PSA is up there a little bit, and I'm going to be tested to make sure. Very good. That uh, you know that doesn't happen. Uh, okay, what else is going on? I know there are things that you want uh, the viewers to know about what's going on I definitely want the, the viewers to know about all the things that are happening in town. And one of the big things and good things is we're having a lot of businesses that are coming into town. The, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, we have ribbon cuttings, and the town board members are invited to attend these ribbon cuttings, and that's what I love to do. Mm -hmm. Because we have so many, and in fact, we have several this week. Mm. And uh, you'll see town board members there. It's usually in the newspaper. It's usually on TV as well. And it lets people know that Pahrump is still going in the right direction. Very good. Very good. Now, is something that you said something about if there are three members here and uh, three members, you know, on the board, that it doesn't necessarily mean uh, that... Uh, yes. The open meeting law, the Nevada open meeting law, everybody calls it the OML. Mm -hmm. And any time three town board members, because that would be a quorum. Anytime three town board members are together, if we're talking about something that might be on the agenda, that would violate the open meeting law. Mm. Just to have three town board members together is not a violation. Mm -hmm. And many people just don't understand that difference. And they see three town board members and right away they say it's a, it's a violation and they report that to, uh, to the state of Nevada. Mm -hmm. And once it's reported, then the town has to prepare a defense for us. And that's $500 per person. Whoa. So in the past, we've had up to $3,000 wasted by preparing defenses for something that was clearly not a violation. Mm. The, the state attorney general has come back and said that we have not violated any rules. Uh, but if somebody thinks it's a violation and they turn it into the attorney general, they have to investigate it. And therefore, the town is wasting money Wow. For an open meeting law violation, it does not exist. Mm. So if anybody thinks that there is an open meeting law violation, I say you need to do something about it, but contact the town manager. And he can tell them if, if it's an open meeting law violation or not, and if they should file for it. Mm. 
wow. Right. There are other things that's going on that I know you wanted to talk about. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, there is a new organization coming into town called LATIP International. And it's one that's going to allow businesses to get together and recommend each other. So if you say if you needed someone, a carpenter for your house, you could go to this organization and they could recommend somebody in Pahrump that mm. handles that and somebody that's highly recommended and also has a town business license. Well, which is very good because uh, people talk about, uh, you know, having outside, you know, businesses or that's outside correct. individuals, you know, helping where is we have this. So a lot of things here people don't know about that exist here in the town that they can absolutely you know, be part of. And this is, uh, this is something new. There's something new and I think it's really going to help Pahrump. Uh -huh. because it's going to help Pahrump businesses uh, first get their name out there, recognized, and then recommend it by an organization that has already looked into this uh -huh. and make sure that they're, they're credible and they have a business license. Mm. Well, uh, the other thing I'd like to ask you as far as what's going on here in town, do you see changes that are bringing this town forward or moving it forward I should say do you see any kind of changes that's that's doing that uh, you know <laughs> that's that's a loaded question because I see the the glass is is half full okay and I don't see it as half empty I, I'm very positive about Pahrump and I see things moving in the right direction yeah uh, the other thing and we've mentioned it already is the town board loves to see town businesses receive anything that we can do and one of the things that we had was we were talking about the request for proposal. So we wanted to make sure that they were trained to mm -hmm. handle that. And so I, I put together a training program and I put it on my blog so that everybody could use that. What I wanted to do was have a training program, but we're not allowed to do that because if I train a local business and then it comes before the town board and then I select them, then I've got a conflict of interest. Uh, so yeah. I can't do the training but I could put it in my blog, which I did, mm -hmm. and they can go to my blog, which is Tom Waters Thoughts at blogpoint.com, and they can read and get everything they need to know about a request for proposal. Mm -hmm. Well, see, this is the, that's what I'm saying. This is the first time I've heard of, uh, of a blog, you yes. know, a blog like that going on the Internet to show people or help people here in, in, in town uh, to know what's going on and the kinds of things that they can do to assist you know, and help instead of complaining all the time. <laughs> you know, because you have a lot of complaints. Oh, I don't think this. We do get a lot of complaints. <laughs> yeah. But we also get a lot of positive statements. Right. And uh, I have to say the current town board has received more praises than criticism. Very good. What else? Because uh, I don't want to, I, I want you to cover everything you want to cover here before the time runs out. Well, I, I want to talk about the fact that the town of Pahrump, again, is moving in the right direction. I see us coming together. Uh, there, was, there was a discussion about the fact that we're divided on the town board because we vote differently. Well, we're five different individuals and we have different backgrounds. However, when you look at the five zero votes where we all come together, that's about 70% of our votes. Uh -huh. And when you look at the three two votes, that's about 12% of our votes. So a very small percentage where we, we look at it as say four to one or three to two, most of our votes are five zero. Mm. because we do agree that we're looking at the best things for the town. Mm. So when you bring, when they bring up uh, information or different things as the town is moving forward, uh, you see this and you say, okay, we look at this all together and this makes sense and there's not as much negativity on what it is that you see to help this town move forward. And like you said, you see more positive than you see negative. Absolutely. In, in almost everything we do. And I, I think too, the public needs to know that every item on our agenda, we research separately. We can't research it together because that would violate the open meeting law. Right. So we, we're not allowed to talk to each other until we're at the open meeting. Mm. Now two of us can talk, but if any time it's more than, more than two, we can't speak. Mm. Well, this makes sense. These are things I think that uh, the general public don't know because I don't know whether they've ever been expressed like that, at least not on TV. <laughs> and, and we need to let them know that we are very cautious about violating the open meeting law. Even though we're all friends, if we end up at places together like a luncheon or a dinner, we sit in separate areas mm -hmm. just so there's not the appearance of open meeting law violation. Mm. Uh, uh, with the time we have left, uh, what I want to know is that 
any way that people can contact, say, you or any member, or do they just go online and uh, check out what's going on? Again, they can always go to my blog, because I have all of my open letters on the blog, and that's Tom Waters Thoughts uh -huh. at or tomwaterstheart.blogspot.com. Or they can contact the town office, and mm -hmm. our phone numbers are given. They can contact any one or all of the town board members okay. at any time with any questions or comments. And we'd much rather have them before the town board meeting right. so we can research those things. Which makes sense. Yes. Yeah. We'd like to be able to support what they're asking us to do. Mm. Uh, so they can call the town office also, right? They can call the town office. Yeah. Well, listen, thanks so much, uh, Dr. Tom Waters. I appreciate Thank you, you coming in. And anytime you have some important information, let us know. I will be glad to do that, and I, again, thank you for allowing me to express my thoughts to the public. You're welcome. Stay tuned, folks. We shall return after these messages. Don't go away. Young at Heart, here. Welcome to the show, folks. Young at Heart, and of course you know who the young lady is on there, Reverend Carol. There I am. Here. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and the other lady, of course, you know, is Joan from Joan? Albertson. Welcome again. Hello. Yes. Great Happy, time of the year. Happy Valentine's Day, Sue. Yay. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, I see you have a lovely display right here. Oh, yes. We, and we, you do many things. Oh, yes. Well, our store. whole store is covered here today pretty, pretty much. Um, in the floral department, I have a lot of beautiful arrangements. They'll start at $19.99 and go up. Our dozen roses this year are going to stay down to $19.99. We were afraid they would have to go up because of all the economy and everything. Right. But they, we, they, uh, we worked really hard for them not to raise the prices in our, our roses. Mm -hmm. And they're the long stems. They're going to be just beautiful. Oh, that's just wonderful. beautiful. And so you can come in and, um, and I'd be happy to make something custom made. Mm -hmm. I make custom made. You can give me at least one day. It, sometimes even the same day I can make something up for you custom made and um, what, what goes well for Valentine's Day? Roses, 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 and carnations. And carnations. This one here I call a half and half. It's six roses, six carnations, mm -hmm. and it's it covers kind of all the bases because people like to get carnations also. Mm -hmm. And something like that, which would cost about thirty-five to not thirty-nine dollars. Wow! As a mix with the roses and the carnations, uh -huh, the whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing. Ten That's already made. Yeah. But if you buy a dozen roses, it's and nineteen ninety-nine. Mm -hmm. But if you were to buy a dozen roses, or say half a dozen, mm -hmm. and you wanted to go with the carnations and the other florals that are in here, uh -huh. what would you say that would cost? Well, right now, this is, I have six roses in here, and I have six. Mm -hmm. Carnation, so mm -hmm. that would be half and half, and that's thirty nine ninety nine. Wow! Wow! That see now that's more. I would rather do the the roses uh, for nineteen ninety nine. Well, that's just a pack of roses. Oh. Now the roses in an arrangement like this, they'll start out at thirty nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. That would be a small vase, and they'll go up to fifty nine ninety nine. Wow! Oh, depending okay. on depending on what they want into it, we can put lilies. We can you know upgrade. Uh, the arrangement to be anything. I can make it any size, even mm. in the hundreds. Okay. So, <laughs> Very well. You know. What do but, you find people are ordering? Uh, I'm sure they order more than just the flowers. Mm -hmm. So are they putting together uh, packages like this over here mm -hmm, with the crackers right. and everything like that? And is that a pretty good buy? Yeah, they, they can. we can make them a basket or they, they make their own baskets. Mm -hmm. um, and they put in cookies and candies and, and I, I'll be making up uh, candy baskets where their arrangements, they're actually uh, candy bouquets. And we oh. use candy, uh, we use um, um, candy bars and different different candy goods and they go in the bouquets and they're set up just like a regular bouquet like something in this mm. just set up and they start at 19.99 mm. okay. and they're really really cute oh they're really really cool now you know I see that uh, you have the heart cookies yes and we have special the special heart cookies heart over cookies here. and then we uh, also have the can't the cookie bouquet oh, over the here cookie, the cookie bouquet yes. yeah he, he's going to show those you know later in there the cookie bouquet and as that's you know, over cookies. in her bakery area Ooh. she made those up oh and then the and, heart uh, candies the heart candies we had over in our our um, promotional aisle in the store she has all the candy boxes you know mm -hmm. the heart heart things boxes like that. that uh that you can pick up and they started 
Three ninety nine, which is very so, good. Yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah. And uh, what about the balloon? Oh, here? lots of balloons. Lots of balloons. Lots little, of balloons. Is that the little, little bunny love bug? Is that the little bunny? bunny? Yeah, this is a little dragon. Over here, Oops, over, over here. here. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Here we go. Little, yeah. little dragon. Yeah. A little dragon in there. Yeah, that's And he's cute. he's at the store. They've got all different colors. Oh yeah. The dragon, nice. and they are nice. uh, they are five ninety nine with a preferred card. Mm -hmm. Well, here's what I got to ask you uh, now. You have some special that's going on, and I'm looking oh, at this. Uh, yes. and this starts uh, Wednesday, is that it? This starts Wednesday. Yeah, and, and what is this here going on here as far as the steaks and meat? I know he's going to show oh, this later. Oh, yeah, know, he's going to show that. But talk about that. We please. have the steaks that are going to be on sale. The um, Albertson's Beef Ribeye Steak with Bone-In in the Max Pack, uh -huh. and they are four ninety nine a pound. That's and amazing. And then they also have the... Um, the um, Albertson's New York steak, ribeye steaks that are eight ounce each, yum, and they're going to be four dollars each. That that's Not amazing. It's called steaks by the each. Yes, mm -hmm. that is wonderful. And what is this here? You, you like the lobsters? Lobster? Oh my oh, goodness, the lobsters are going to be wonderful. Is, okay. They have Where do these lobsters <laughs> come from? North Atlantic cold water lobster tails. North Atlantic. North Atlantic. Yeah. Really and they nice have cold. these the uh, three ounce are going to be three ninety nine each, mm. and the um, Seven ounce tails will be eleven ninety nine each. Mm. So uh, it's going to be really, really great for all the way through the store. We also have the uh, Farmer John pork loin roast that they're going to have for two forty nine a pound. <laughs> there are things going on throughout the store uh, for Valentine's and for every day. We also have Kids Corner that'll be on Sunday, the twelfth. Mm -hmm. That okay. the kids can, your know, parents can bring the kids over to make a special person there. Uh, a, a either a floral arrangement or a, a mini cake mm -hmm. or a cookie. They can decorate themselves mm -hmm. and they can make the arrangement themselves. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll show them what to do mm -hmm. and uh, for four ninety nine and the. The, that's this Sunday. Uh -huh. This Sunday this as Sunday. well. It's coming Sunday. Sometimes we yes. forget. We lose That's we right. We lose track, track of time. Of time. Yeah. And it's, it's this Yes, it's going to be this Sunday the Wonderful. 12th, and it'll be from 10 to 4 mm. on Sunday. Yeah, well, here's what i got to ask. I mean, I see that you have a sushi over there. Yes. And, uh, if, we if had to <laughs> bring something <laughs> for our, <laughs> for our, fixated on our that. Sushi, wait, wait. sushi guy. Yeah, well, what I want to ask is this now. I want to ask both of you ladies this. If me, a gentleman, if is going to, uh, you know, fix dinner for the lady, um, and uh, maybe you could just give me some ideas. Like, I know I would start with the flowers, and what else would I do? I do the lobster. <laughs> the lobster? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. The lobster and some box of candy. The lobster and candy is And in my case, they would win my heart with sushi, because I Ooh. love it. So it would that would be that would be great. I would that love would the sushi. Mm -hmm. Joe can Joe can make sushi. He makes it every day. Okay. It's fresh every it's day, fresh. and he can do them to order. Ah. And um, it, it's just good. I mean, I I love it. Mm. Well, Albertsons is a, a great store all around because I go and get all my fruit there. Oh, mm -hmm. absolutely. The, the fruit's fruit wonderful. is very. Um, you have a, a variable amount yes. of a different items you know not just one or two different type right. of apples and mm -hmm. oranges right. so I, I i like going there for that yes mm -hmm. and uh, we'll have a lot of things i'm going to have some beautiful bouquets mm -hmm. beautiful arrangements that are become, will be coming in pre-made mm -hmm. so that i will just be putting them out they'll start at 19.99 there's going to be something there for everybody's budget oh everybody's you. budget what about those brides out there oh, that yes. are looking to be married mm -hmm. on valentine's day and they're having maybe a little gathering at their home that's right uh what about the wedding cakes that you make can we you make have, something oh, a little bit you know yes smaller? absolutely <laughs> if they would it'd be great if they would come in and and uh, talk to deanna our baker okay and she can set them up Wonderful. Oh, my goodness, yes. Wonderful. That's great. So if I was going to get married, I'd come there and get a cake. Is that right? Yeah, and then you'd come over to my department and get your bouquet. Get a bouquet. That's and right. A, and, and your a boutonniere. Boutonniere. boutonniere like That's that. right. I do it all. Well, if, I, if, uh, if that happens, I mean, I want you to know I'll be there. Okay, okay. <laughs> one I'll stop shop. i that. <laughs> I will. Uh, yeah. You, okay. What yeah, it is actually a one-stop shop because we do have beautiful cakes. Mm -hmm. She does beautiful work, and yes. I can put flowers on the cake if they want. I can do any type of floral design for a wedding, uh, bouquets, boutonnieres, uh, table to centerpieces. There's no, there's, I can make anything that they want. 
Very so good. Uh, all they have to do is come in and talk to me and tell me what they want to do. And then we try and work within the budget and... I wish you'd get Joan a little bit more of a better attitude about this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, you know, I love my job. <laughs> and it easy. shows. And it's very important because when someone loves their job, they do a very good job. Well, I really do. I really do. I've been there 10 years now. And good. I just, I really do. I, I, I love the floral department. And uh, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Well, we love having you here. Thank Joe, you. Thank, thank you for you. coming and, and sharing with us. So, Is there a phone number they should call or anything? 751-0160. That's our store number, and you can call and ask for Joan in Floral or any one of the departments, and they'll connect you right away. How long on the, How long do you have to call ahead for your flowers? For the flowers? Uh, a day, 24 hours. That's Let me know. That way I can, I can make sure you get what you want. For a wedding, if they give me a week... Mm -hmm. That way I make sure that they have the flowers that they want. Right. So, Joan, I want to thank you again for coming and not only bringing this stuff, but the food and thing like that. That's great. Does that stay? Yes. yes. Yeah, that's the <laughs> thing. Oh, happy <laughs> Okay. Right. Stay tuned, he folks. We it. shall return <laughs> after the <laughs> Don't go away. Please stay with us. Hi, and welcome back to Young and at Heart. And I'm Carol Fusello, and I want to introduce you to Mr. Jay Joseph. Good yeah. morning. Good morning. I haven't seen you in a while. I haven't seen you in about five years. Five <laughs> years? It's been that long. <laughs> wow. It has. Well, Mr. Jay, I want to know a little bit about you. Well, first of all, I know a little bit about you, because oh. I was in the audience when you were crowned. Oh, okay. So yeah. I got to see you dance and all of that. Okay, thank you. And uh, the reason I was there is because I'm also an MC for the United States pageants. Isn't that wonderful? That must be fun. How long have you been doing that? Seven years. Seven years. Yeah. The Mrs. Wow. United States pageant for yeah. seven years now, and the Miss uh, Teen, Junior Teen Okay. pageant for five years. All right. Wow. And you're singing actively. I do. You do that a lot? Yes. Okay. Uh, but tell us about this mystery theater. Ah, yes. Murder Mystery Theater. Mm. We've got one coming up at Lowry's Prime Rib. Uh, this Thursday, except we're completely sold out. Oh, wow. But wow. it is a musical set in the 1940s called what? Death by Chocolate. <laughs> oh. Now, what do you do in that play? Well, I write them. Oh, you write I direct them. them, I cast them, and I'm in them. Mm. Wow. He's and the hot, whole ball <laughs> of wax. One of the reasons we have our background that we do today, because mm -hmm. right now we're on a ship, yes. is because it's great. Lethal... My hair is just blowing up in a <laughs> breeze. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> 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 we were on uh, seven ships on Royal Caribbean mm -hmm. with uh, for two years, from 2002 to 2004. Now we're on the Norwegian Jewel with Lethal Libations, mm -hmm. which is a murder mystery set in the 1920s about a wine tasting. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So you write the murder mysteries. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not all murder mysteries, are they? They're all murder mysteries. All it's, murder it's, mysteries. it's like a live game of Clue. I got you. So when the guests yeah. come in, we start mingling with them, mm -hmm. and we start bringing them into our story. We have 18 different stories right now. Oh, and so yeah. we're mingling with them, letting them get to know us a little bit, and then mm -hmm. some scenes start taking place. Oh. And during the scenes, that's when clues start getting dropped. Ah. Then the murder takes place, an inspector mm. takes over, and then all the tables become teams. Mm. And it's completely interactive. They get to figure it out if it's a, and ask questions of the suspects to solve it. And if it's a musical, there are songs either before it in the middle of it, during mm -hmm. questioning. Mm -hmm. So it just keeps you moving along. But it's a live game of Clue. Mm. Well, how many is seated uh, in this theater? It depends. Well, at Lowry's, we are completely sold out at 95 because we're only in two of their great rooms. Okay. When we have all three great rooms, it's about 122. Okay. But we've done these for up to 1,000. A thousand people? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As long as you have the stage where mm -hmm. it's central and everyone can see. Right. Some places, well, we do the casinos for their parties. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they can, sometimes they'll put uh, TV screens up. Okay. And you'll have monitors throughout the room so right. that everybody sees. Oh, my goodness. And then we mingle around question. to the question. Is it expensive to well, go there? Well, <laughs> Lowry's actually isn't bad because Lowry's, you know, the, the food is wonderful. Mm -hmm. So you have their three... Uh, three-course meal mm -hmm. plus the show inclusive of tax and tip it's only $99 okay wow. so well, you're getting so a lot for $99. you're getting a lot you're getting, a, you're getting a, meal a meal and a show and a show yeah yeah right. and it's personal isn't it and because you're up close and personal oh, yes as opposed to going to a Vegas show where everything is up on the stage and mm -hmm. you're sitting back right. there you go yeah. oh how neat so we're out there with you 
Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, let me ask this question. Uh, do most of the guests uh, figure this out? Before well, I don't make them too hard so yeah. that they can't <laughs> be figured out. A lot of the times you have to have a twisted mind to get it. Right. But uh, we give That's the prizes twisted to the mind. team that comes with the closest answer if uh -oh. somebody doesn't get it exactly mm. right. <clears throat> so there's prizes. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Nice. And how many uh, actors and actresses do you normally have? Well, it depends on the story. Okay. Anywhere from six to seven right now. Well, that's okay. not bad. That's yeah. 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 yeah do you ever do one-man shows? I do myself. Do you? <laughs> as, a, as a singer, I do. <laughs> yes. Of course show, you do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so where else are you singing? Anywhere mm -hmm. else uh, locally? Uh, I sing at the Hit Parade at mm -hmm. the Sun Coast. It's oh, an afternoon variety show. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And also uh, the Variety Toast of the Town at Sam's Town. Mm. Very now, good. what days are those? So Thursday afternoons. Thursday afternoons. Mm. Okay, good. that's yeah. good for those who want to go in and catch his act. Absolutely. Right. Mm -hmm. I understand that Jay's going to sing for us. Yes, I he am. is. Okay. Yes. What are they? What are they going to I'm sing? going to sing The Way You Look Tonight mm. to you. Oh. Ooh. And then Nice and Easy. <laughs> All because right. I love you Frank Sinatra. Someday, when I'm awfully low, when the world is cold, I will feel a glow just thinking of you and the way you look tonight. Oh, but you're lovely With your smile so warm And your cheeks so soft There is nothing for me But to love you And the way you look tonight Come with me With each word your tenderness grows Touching my foolish heart And that laugh that just wrinkles your nose Touches my foolish heart Lovely Never, never change Keep that breathless charm Won't you please arrange it Cause I love you And the way you look tonight And that laugh that just wrinkles your nose Tearing my fears apart Oh, lovely Never, never change Keep that breathless charm Won't you please arrange it Cause I love Just the way you love tonight. Thank you. Ah, oh, that was nice. <laughs> you got a lovely voice. Thank you. Thank you. Now, many of you may remember this song, one of my favorite Frank Sinatra songs. Let's take it nice and easy It's gonna be so easy For us to fall in love Hey baby, 
What's your hurry? Relax and don't you worry We're gonna fall in love We're on the road to romance That's safe to say But let's make all the stops To simply hold your horses To rush would be a crime So nice and easy does it every time We're on the road to romance that's safe to say But let's make all the stops along the way The problem now of course is To simply hold your horses To rush would be a crime Nice and easy does it Nice and easy does it Nice and easy does it every time Sing with me now Nice and easy does it Nice and easy does it Nice and easy does it all the time have a great day. Come on out on the sea with us. Welcome back to the show, folks. My next guest, and I have to get this right, uh, is uh, the folks from uh, it'd be Creekside Hospice. And uh, I have Mr. Lowell Carlson, and I also have Mr. Kelvin Satcher. Did I say that correctly? You did. Yes, yeah, you sometimes, did. you know, being that I am advanced up in, you know, Linguistics. Yeah, and linguistics. we get that. Yeah, and all that kind of stuff, you know. <laughs> Dead Greg, <right>, though. <laughs> right. Tell me something about uh, Creekside's uh, hospice and how long are you just coming here and uh, what? Yeah, we're just moving into uh, the neighborhood here. Okay. Uh, we've been in Vegas for over 12 years uh, successfully, and uh, we've had a lot of calls to expand into this area. We've had clients request our services, but if you're not licensed and you're not privileged by... Nye mm -hmm. County, you can't just open up a business here. So mm -hmm. we've gone through the pains to do all that. We're very excited about coming out here. Uh, we have a lot of interest generated from local physicians, healthcare partners, and some other people in the mm -hmm. in the neighborhood here. And we're going to be at 2200 East Calvada, mm -hmm. uh, right next door to the Senior Dimensions office. Oh. Uh, Summit, or I guess it's Southwest, 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 Southwest Medical. Uh, yeah, yeah, Southwest Medical. Southwest Medical. Mm -hmm. so, which is really a good location for us, and there's other healthcare partners, people on that avenue as, or the street as well. Mm. Um, we've been trying to uh, reach out here for a little while. We are going to be opening our inpatient unit in Las Vegas next to San Martin Hospital. So it's just over the hill and off of uh, Durango and Warm Springs. Hmm. We're gonna have a 13 bed inpatient unit there. So it'll be a little bit closer for people from Pahrump if they're using our services there. We are going to contract hopefully with uh, some people here in Pahrump to do inpatient beds here. And when I mean inpatient, that's generally for people who are having um, some sort of issue that's not easily managed uh, mm -hmm. as far as their health is concerned. In hospice, our focus is going to be on trying to keep people as comfortable as possible in the last mm -hmm. few months or several months of their life. A lot of people unfortunately think that um, they hear the hospice word and they immediately think of death, and uh, which is, I guess, normal, but you know, I keep telling people there's no D in hospice. Mm -hmm. uh, the the, our, our H stands for help. It's for people right. who have, at some point, reached a, a decision not to have further treatment and or have gotten so progressed in their illnesses that they no longer can mm -hmm. uh, survive. Mm -hmm. And the options of surviving and getting the treatments are worse than actually just not doing anything. And we actually have documentation from Nevada or from the National Hospitals and Palliative Care Association that 
says that people can actually live a little bit longer and have a better quality of life mm -hmm. with hospice versus some of the aggressive things that we in medicine do. Right. I've been a nurse for 32 years. I've only mm -hmm. worked in hospice 12. Mm -hmm. I had a very dear friend die of lymphoma, uh, literally in my arms, because his family could not stop doing things to him. He mm -hmm. was in a coma and uh, he had gone from uh, Pat Boonish kind of guy and very charismatic to somebody who couldn't even respond. Wow. Uh, and it was pretty tragic and that's when I kind of flipped the switch in my mind about hospice mm -hmm. and became a very vocal advocate for that type of thing. Mm. Um, we are going to have a job fair down mm -hmm. here on Calvada coming up real soon. We're mm -hmm. going to be hiring people locally mm -hmm. on the spot at that mm -hmm. job fair. We already have a social worker who's worked out here previously, mm -hmm. and we have a clinical um, care manager, mm -hmm. and she lives here as well. And she's an RN, and she worked for another hospice, but we were lucky enough to get her. Her name is uh, Miss Cretney. Mm -hmm. Her first name is Joanne. Mm -hmm. um, her husband works out here somewhere. I'm not sure where. Mm -hmm. And then um, um, two of our nursing assistants for Rump were orienting this morning. Mm -hmm. Yay. We're happy to have them. <laughs> yes. uh -huh. Well, you need the nursing assistants. That's kind of a yeah. backbone of hospice is those yeah. people who do that nice, touchy-feely yeah. kind of care. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to ask to Mr. Satcher about that. What do you do What do you do as far as the nurse assistant? What is it? Well, basically, with the nurse assistant, they do pretty much all the care for the patient as far as you know, making sure they get the mm -hmm. appropriate bath, make sure they're giving them up, um, mm -hmm. the care that they would need to give them a better quality of life. And mm -hmm. like um, Lois said, we are basically are going to do a big health fair here mm -hmm. this Thursday uh, from 12 to 9 that night at the uh, Nugget. And basically, we will be interviewing that day. So we mm -hmm. encourage everyone to come out. We're looking for more nurses, CNAs, um, chaplains, social workers. Volunteers. Uh, volunteers. volunteers uh, well, name I'm it. A, well, I'm a chaplain with the Marine Corps League. Mm -hmm. You know I mean? We have a big presence with the VA in yes. uh, Vegas. You do? Oh, yeah. great. Yes. I, I guess uh, the other thing I want to ask you, uh, uh, see here, you're talking about the insurances that uh, you know that you uh, right. accept. Well, you know, it's really interesting. Uh, I know that there, there are a lot of HMO, Medicare aged patients or people mm -hmm. in this district or in this town. And uh, a lot of times uh, people think because they have an HMO, because they're so used to getting those referrals from their doctors that they have to go through that system. Under the Medicare regulations, federal regulations, if you're on a Medicare HMO, you can choose any hospice. They do not have to be related oh. to that HMO. And a lot of people, unfortunately, don't know that. Uh, so we can take Senior Dimensions, we can take Humana, uh, United Healthcare, CareMore, which is a new company that just moved into Las Vegas. I don't know if they made it out here yet, but they probably will. They're expanding. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, people always have a choice. And uh, that's the most important thing that we try to get across to people is get informed, get the information as fast as you can so that you can get some help. Mm -hmm. And I, I tell people in my speaking to them, just getting the consult for hospice doesn't mean you have to have hospice. Right. But if you get it, then you already have an idea of what it's about and how it's utilized and getting the information up front makes it easier for you to make a transition to hospice at some other point mm -hmm. um, or not mm -hmm. my goodness <laughs> is my time up yeah no um, no <laughs> anyway uh, it's 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 a very rewarding field mm -hmm. and uh, we are looking for our volunteers out volunteers here so uh, we really really are at Barbara Colvin at our mainline number six five zero seven six six nine is mm -hmm. our volunteer mm -hmm. director Mm -hmm. And she'd be happy to talk to anybody about that. Okay. Now you said that uh, you you have inpatient yes. uh, facility. Right. That's an inpatient, so that means that anyone who needs hospice can. It, it actually there are four levels of care in hospice. There's yeah. routine care where the person's taken care of at their home or wherever they live. Could be a group home or assisted living. Um, there's a uh, thing called respite care. So if a mm -hmm. person's caring for someone and they are just getting tired from trying to manage all that, they can get a break and where hospice will pay for room and board somewhere, either mm -hmm. in their own facility or in a nursing facility mm -hmm. where we're contracted with to give that person a mm -hmm. five day time span to mm -hmm. get themselves organized. Mm -hmm. And then um, there is continuous care, which is for people who um, you, you probably recognize this 
statement. I, I'm never going back to the hospital again right. for anything. Mm -hmm. But there's but their symptoms are so bad, mm -hmm. we can't really manage them very well at home. So we can do continuous care. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, that's up to like eight hours of intensive mm -hmm. care intensive in the care. home to try and get the symptom, whatever is right. out of control, managed. Mm -hmm. Where uh, we also have the inpatient level of care for crisis management, but mm -hmm. that's only usually very short term. It's not you're gonna you're not gonna go in there and live there. We're gonna right. get you control and control. back to where you need to be. About right. Which now, where everybody wants to be. Right. Now, in your open house, uh, you're going to cover uh, things that people need to know about hospitals. I Most definitely. Um, right now, the, the date has not been scheduled, but we will be having an open house here. Mm -hmm. And we will be inviting the whole community as well as the different uh, professionals out to mm -hmm. for a ribbon cutting. So, again, it's going to be a grand opening. And we just want people to know we are in the area and we're here to take care of their needs. Oh, so the open house. So so with the open house, and I understand that's, that's coming this Thursday. Right. Yes. Well, no, that's actually no. That's, the, that's, that's the, the job, job fair. fair. The job fair is Thursday. Job fair is Thursday. Yes. So we, we're expecting the open house to happen sometime in March. Yes. Ah, I got you. Yeah. Okay. See, because I'm we, thinking, doing, doing. we're Maybe. in the middle of building out. It's not as easy as just getting yeah. a license. And oh, I door. got you. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's a lot of there's a lot more to and it. Then we want to make sure we have the staff. Right. The staff so that's why we're doing first. a job fair Most Thursday, important. and once the staff is hired on, then the staff will be able to meet the community. What telephone? Can they a telephone number that they can call? Yes, they can talk to you. They can call. 775 727 7000. 775 Yes. That's it. And for any information that they need to know, you, you can uh, give it to the folks out here. I think that's good uh, that uh, this is a sort of our senior area here. And so I think that's a good idea, you guys coming here. And I appreciate you coming. Appreciate and, you allowing uh, us to come on your show. And giving us this okay. information. Yeah, and so, thanks so much. Likewise, I look forward to seeing you at the open house. All right. Yeah, okay. I'll be here. All right. Stay tuned, folks. You shall, we shall, not you shall, we shall return after <laughs> these messages. I'll be okay. I don't know when. <laughs> that's great. Welcome to the show, folks. Welcome back. And so you understand that uh, you want to talk about your ministry. There's some special things that you're doing that I think the public needs to know. Oh, yes. It's really getting into way. I'm going to a lot of the churches now and being guest speakers about mm. uh, placing a senior with a senior. And I'm just so ecstatic about it. Um, people calling me. And now that I'm going out into the churches, they're seeing that there is a place that they can make a choice, that they don't have to go to an assistant care living. They don't have to go to a nursing home, but they can make the choice who they would like to have come and live with them and to be able to share uh, their home with. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, I do background checks and fingerprinting and uh, all the essential things that mm -hmm. is necessary. And of course, I will be the one to sit with them after they fill out an application and be able to discuss it with them to be able to see if their mind is in the right place, if their mm -hmm. heart is, is in the right place. Mm -hmm. So it's really something that's very much needed in this community and every single community all yeah. around the world. It isn't just here in Pahrump, but at least it's starting here in Pahrump. Mm -hmm. And I'm very happy about this. About it's called Welcome Home Ministry. Mm -hmm. And uh, and, uh, and I'll, I'll speak more about it as time goes on, being that I'm the co-hostess with the most just here now. Ooh, uh, give yes. them a telephone number that they can call in case they you know, uh, need the service. Do you realize that I don't even have the telephone number in front of me? <laughs> My goodness. I have it. You know what? If you show it on uh, the television, they have it here. I just don't remember it because it's my second number. I get you. Isn't that terrible? Not really. I'm a senior, everybody. Yeah, that's right. You have to come back. I and, am a senior. And tell us that what it is and bring it the number so they can call it. Oh yes, I will next do that, week. I'll they, do that. Yeah. See, because they will want to know exactly how to contact. Absolutely. The, 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 what's on next, next week, week here? Oh, well, yeah. next week, Dr. Otto uh, is going to be hearing Dr. Cowboy Cooking. Flo Provenza, Provenza, We'll talk about the history here, and we will George and the Blue Gym, where you go and do your little exercise. And then I have some people coming from New Hope. It's called Path of Hope. We feed over 200 families a week, and we've been wow. doing this for two years. I'm excited about it. I'm going to show pictures from Long Lines. They come every single Wednesday. So we're going to stay tuned and see the, those two ladies come in and talk about that. It sounds good. Yeah. Well, folks, we want to thank you for joining us here on Young at Heart. We hope to see you. We will see you the next time. Have a beautiful day. And God bless you. Yes.
next week for another entertaining and informative hour of Young at Heart. Have a good day. Fairy tales can come true It can happen to you If 